guys, welcome back to Maddie V TV. Today we are going to be making foam slime. So, it's like foam beads and slime. But it like takes up most of the slime. So, let's get started. So what you'll need is Elmer's glue. I just have glow in the dark glue, which is really cool in foam slime. So, I got glow in the dark glue. And you'll need... Um, contact lens solution, baking soda, um, like a measuring spoon, and I just have a bunch of glue because I like glitter. I need a mixing tool and a mixing bowl, and then of course you'll need your foam beads. Okay, so let's get to making the slime. So let's pour in the glue. You can pour in this as much glue as you would like. If you're making foam slime, you don't want a lot of glue because the foam beads are going to add size to the glue. So now you get to add in your extras. So I'm going to add in my glitter. The glitter just makes it look more fun. Okay, I love glitter. So. And then you can mix it in, but if you don't want to mix it in, you don't have to. So I'm just going to mix it in, and then I'll be back with the next step. So now we're going to pour in our activator, and you want to use your contact lens solution right now. You don't want to put in too much, you just want to put in about a teaspoon. If you can't measure that by looking at it, you can get a measuring spoon. So now we're going to add our baking soda and I have one half here and I'm going to just level that out and sprinkle in slowly so that I don't add too much baking soda that it ends up a bad slime. So I'm gonna mix this until it is a good formed slime. So once you are done adding in your activator slowly um, and you are happy with the consistency, you can put your activator aside and start kneading it and getting the edge, the stuff off the edges of the bowl. Kneading is just kind of stretching it. As you can see, I added quite a bit of activator so mine isn't really sticky, so I don't have to knead it a lot. So I will be back to you guys when I am done kneading this. So I've done kneading my slime and this is what it looks like. Um, so now you're gonna take your foam beads and you're gonna put your slime in it. But before you put that in it, just let me tell you, prob you probably don't wanna dump these out because they make an absolute mess. So I'm gonna put this in the slime. Now as you can see, it sticks right away and you don't want to add too much to it because your slime can only hold so much and you just want to knead it in there and keep adding more until you're satisfied with how it looks and how it feels and everything. So I will continue to put the foam beads in and I will be back to you when I am done. Guys, listen to this crunch. It's so satisfying and so fun. And the stretch is unbelievable. It's It looks so cool. Okay. You don't want to stretch it too much because otherwise it can rip. Or you can put some lotion in it to make it stretchier. 
So this was a really easy slime and it's really fun to make. It probably took me under 10 minutes to make it. And mine doesn't glow because I added the foam beads, but if you want yours to glow, you can just use the glow in the dark glue. By the way, I found that at Walmart, I think. So if you want that, you can go to Walmart and get that. So this is a really cool slime. I really suggest it for you. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications and never miss another video like this one. Bye!